Welcome back to Let's Play Mika Apoptosis. And I need to remember the controls here. As I can see, we've got ourselves back here with Lenine, who I'm not going to look at the profile of. Why We Need Not Fear the Devil by Castor Salvador. Hey, we saw a Castor in that first chap prologue. In the prologue, didn't we? The goddess abandoned us. That was when Hell's Gate opened up. Those things invaded all our lands and murdered all the humans. Their grotesque cells came across. <clears throat> Princess Micaiah, our savior who has the blood of the goddess in her veins, created this castle to house all the people she managed to save from those things. Hmm. So we have Princess Micaiah. Alright, Lenin's journal. I'm curious. I am curious about a lot. Castor Salvador... That's the red-haired dude from the prologue, right? Does the Messiah exist, or does he not? Theories abound. More at six. Good night. Hello, man. Good day, Vincent. Good day, Sylvia. So that's the princess's room. Good day, floating journal. Good day, plant. Good day, Lorenzo. Are you Flora? You're Teresa. The fruit bowl is missing. Janelle? Donna? Good point. Let's have her protect us from the uh, hell spawn and we'll do the rest of the menial tasks. Well, that looks like a fruit bowl. Hello, Chef Carlos. Gabriel? Not yet. That looks like a fruit ball. That's not missing. That looks tasty. You're walking on the counter, sir. That is unnatural. It's in the kitchen. I swear that hat looks familiar. You, sir, are an Umineko reference, aren't you? Good day, floating journal. Clara! <laughs> 
you are interesting. Four people are not allowed in this clinic. Fleur and Isabel. Why? Lord only knows. Induce external influences. Hmm. I feel like you shouldn't be messing with alchemy from the past. That's not the best thing on the planet. Antarant. Hmm. Good day, Mirror. Oh, what do we have against the Mirror? Good day, Shannon. Okay. You were also a Newman Echo reference. Good day, Isabel. Good day. Good day, flower painting. Nice. Very pretty. Thank you. Wow, this place is big. Good day, floating notebook. Shannon? Whoa. That's a lot of gold. When the seagulls cry, confirming that you are, in fact, a Numenaco reference. Whose is this? Teresa. Sylvia. Janelle. Floor. Oh, Fleur wanted to see us. Well, I don't want to see you right now, Fleur. Bye. God, this place is big. Guest room three. And guests? No. Crimson Rafflesia. Wow. Good day, Tom. Thank you, Tom. That was very insightful. Tom, why is that locked? Oh. Good day, Bucket. Cauldron. Good day, Floating Journal. Alright, I will go see Floor. Good day, Floor. Good day, Floor's Bottles. Good day, Flora's bookcase. You're the potion mass, mistress. I miss Grace, and there are times we spent playing together. I can barely remember what she looks like. Don't mind me as I comb through your personal belongings. I am sufficiently prepared to talk to you now. <laughs> Lenny. I was wondering where you've been. Lenny. Just in time. I was hoping you could help me with something. Why should I be running your errands? Because I said so. Hmm. Anyway, Clara just kicked me out of her clinic. How rude. I need to give her a piece of my mind. Were you trying to steal medicine from the clinic again? I thought I told you you weren't allowed to do that. It's not fair. Why am I only the one, the only one banned from Clara's clinic? It's discrimination, I tell you. Isn't that a good thing, though? That means you get to enjoy personally administered healing from our princess when you get sick. That's not the point. I don't need direct healing. I need medicine and tonics. It's for the sake of science. 
for the sake of my research. None of you understand. <laughs> How tragic. Shush. Anyway, I really, really, really need that jar of Antarat for this my save the world potion. Will you help me out? Clara won't get me to let me go anywhere near her clinic, and Rainer refused to help me anymore. Hmm. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> oh, Lenny. Totally banned. Still have all of this place to explore. Frank! Who's Frank? Cannon. Seagulls cry, yep. Ray. Oh, we can go see Ray. A little black haired girl by Castor Salvador. Reform for the Church by D. Salvador. And so the church. Hmm. I wonder if that's what the church was trying... <laughs> Alright then. Gabriel is awesome, apparently. So you want to be the comic relief? Second edition. I like donuts. How enlightening. Thank you, Gabriel. Rainer. Hey, it's Rainer. Oh! You, you're... <laughs> the plastic mango. <laughs> Hugs and kisses. Ciao. You left the bowl. There we go. Ciao for real. He is a certainly something. Do not peek. I mean, I know you're peeking, so get out of my room! Oh. Now I'll sleep in your bed. I claim it for my own. So we solved the, uh, that side quest. I'm assuming. <laughs> Homemade tomato paste. <laughs> what? Oh, she already dealt that. To... Oh, 
Oh boy. Art room. Oh, I thought... I thought for a second that, uh... A murderous intent? Yes, it is. Rest in peace. Now I will get my uh, sweet stash of tomatoes for the night. Oh no. We're gonna blow this place up, aren't we? Rip. Rest in peace, cruel world. I suppose we should, then. Help Fleur with her... Oh, I guess we don't have an experiment to help her with. Well, bye. Murderous intent, yes. <laughs> All right, now what? Was there a staircase here before? Yes, there was. we need to do yet. Oh yeah, we can talk to you. What? Bullshit. We should be going back to our room, then. I forgot that we had completed that side quest. What? Yeah. Tiring day. Spent it all running errands for the matron. Wish my parents were here. Strange girl on the way home. She was only a kid, even younger than me. Her hair was bright red. Why was she at the bad town so late at night alone? She must have bad parents. She reminds me a bit of my younger self, before I lost my parents, that is. Hmm. Remember something about red hair and witch hunts. And didn't Mika's mother have red hair early on? Hmm. 
Salvador Private Library. Ah, oh, you were... You cut her off and she was ranting about her family. The Rothwell Mansion. Fair enough. Interesting thought. <laughs> Five years. Yuffie. <laughs> but you're not going to tell that. I'll kill you where you stand. Is that the, uh... Oh! I assume she died in the whole, uh... like eating a plastic fruit. <laughs> All right, let's see here. There she is. charming girl with an otherworldly beauty and various kinds of benign magic at her fingertips. No doubt. The ones on the bottom floor.
<laughs> Rejected. No coffee for you. Seems like something has come knocking. Hmm. That's convenient. Another person. He. It's a trap. On you. I don't like the sound of that. Certainly, Princess. Well, all is well in the end. That is concerning. <laughs> oh, okay. It was a nice try. In a butler uniform. We'll all be the princess's butlers. Wait, can those lights start stop flickering, please?
Yeah, we probably should. Guest room one, then. Let's rock. Horrifying appearances and speak with revolting voices. Reach out towards you with plump fingers of rotten flesh, and even their scent is the worst smell you will have encountered. Our castle is surrounded by a barrier created by the Princess Micaia that protects us from those things. This protects our sanctuary. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder if that castle is gonna go to shit. Might as well drop a save. And we'll head down this way. That looks like a hole in the wall. My father fell off the balcony. The fall wasn't what killed him, though. Neither hand was a... Oh! You are the... The rest is torn off. I'm going to drop a save, because I'm curious to see what happens when I run out of time. Overrun by horrifying monsters known as the Things. The Things ate humanity by the hundreds, and everyone lived in constant fear. Book of Creation? Hmm. Good night. I'm sleepy now. Keep things on one thing. One is, me, is Mika from the prologue, the same girl as Princess Mikaya.
Let's try this again, shall we? Can I get a hug? we have is to hide. Now before we did this... Oh! Were we actually okay? That's kind of concerning. Oh, that's not good. That's not it. good. That's not good at all. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ, Superstar. That's kind of concerning.
return to the town again today. Met the strange girl from last week. Where are her parents? I doubt her beloved father is such a great person, letting her run around like that. Unlike the rest of us who don't have parents in the first place. <clears throat> Yuffie again. Red hair is a mark of some sort of powers. I swear in the uh, five years ago with uh, Mika, her mother had red hair and she was put to death and they were executing other people with red hair. Aww. Baka. Father keeps using it. That's kind of concerning. Oh, no. Again with that. So sad for you. You don't have parents. You are parentless. It is a parent. True. Hmm. Sheila. Well, there is a Sheila. Horse. Michael's group. Is. Euphony. Hmm. Eh? Oh, buddy, buddy events we got last year. Let's adopt her. <laughs> A taboo word here. Normal people use to insult those who don't believe in the goddess. Oh. Hmm. So in sense of sorrow. an interesting journal. I had so much fun reading it. That Yuffie girl is such a sweetie, huh? Too bad she's dead. But don't worry. You'll see her again. You have to be patient, though. Because Micaiah comes first. Well, that's horrifying. Papa has done everything that he's been tasked to do. Now it's your turn, my child. You are the Messiah. The one who will bring salvation to us all. We believe that there was a Messiah who would raise up the people and take back the land that was owed to them. 
free them from their oppressors. I have the power to change the world. I have the power to end this video.